Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. Welcome back to another episode of the SEO.co podcast. Today, we're kicking off a two-part series, the 10 most important PPC metrics to track. When it comes to pay-per-click marketing, advertisers are inundated with an endless list of metrics to track and measure. That's because, unlike other traditional methods of advertising, PPC offers some fantastic ways to keep tabs on every aspect of a campaign. There is no denying the fact that PPC ad campaigns are data-driven to the max. This also makes it easy for marketers to lose themselves in all the clicks, impressions, and other rates that may or may not make a real difference to the bottom line. After all, not all metrics are equal. This begs the question, which figures are the most important to monitor? There isn't a one-size-fits-all answer because the most critical metrics vary according to the goals of a PPC campaign. Still, there are a few KPIs that are fundamental for the success of every campaign. Here are the top metrics and KPIs to monitor. One. Conversion rate, or CVR. The number of conversions resulting from a campaign is almost always the first priority of an advertiser unless their objective is only brand awareness. Ultimately, profits start with conversion, so it's the number one priority of any business. To measure the conversion rate, divide a campaign's conversions by its total clicks. For instance, a campaign with 50 clicks and 5 conversions will give a conversion rate of 10% when expressed as a percentage. Even though conversions are significant for campaign managers, they sometimes create campaigns optimized for clicks instead. Number two, clicks. A click is the starting point of any conversion, making it a preliminary success indicator of a PPC campaign. It takes into account the number of people who clicked on your ad. These clicks help campaign managers tweak their approach from time to time, even during a campaign's running time. They can check on ads clicks throughout to see which are performing well to put more bids on them and pause those ads completely that are not faring well. For mid-month performance measurements, clicks are a handy KPI, but of course, you cannot rely on just clicks to determine a campaign's success. Number three, click-through rate or CTR. Similar to how your clicks generated in a campaign measure its performance, CTR plays a vital role in determining the success of a campaign's performance. It is measured by the division of the total number of clicks generated by your campaign in a particular period from the total impressions. So, for instance, if your ad got 150 clicks and the total impressions were 1,000, then your CTR is 15% in that case. It is essential to understand that a perfect CTR does not exist because industry types and other variables affect the PPC performance. According to the 2018 research, the differences in the average CTR of the auto industry in the dating and personals industry were 4% and 6.05% respectively. So suppose campaign managers rely entirely on these numbers as a benchmark for their CTR success. In that case, they will overlook the analysis of other variables that affect their campaigns differently. When you compare CTR from other similar campaigns, they provide a good benchmark for improving upon. Number four, quality score. One of the most difficult KPIs to measure is the quality score. Created by Google, this metric aims to point out your ad content's relevancy with the help of CTR metric and more performance variables, such as landing page experience. However, it's difficult for advertisers to understand this metric because it is not as straightforward to measure as other KPIs, such as clicks. Google can evaluate an ad's quality score with the help of expected CTR, ad format, ad relevance, and landing page experience. When it comes to measuring the quality score, Google is upfront about its process and importance. In 2017, Google improved on how it reported quality score in Google Ads, though the following aspects need to be kept in mind. If you pay less money to Google Ads for campaigns, you will get a good quality score ranging between 7 and 10. However, if you pay more for ads, you will get a bad score of 6 or lower. With a change in the quality score reports, advertisers found it easier to use it in Google Ads along with the provision of KPIs historical data. Such insights are precious for advertisers to come up with better campaign decisions. Advertisers are always highly interested in how they can improve the quality score as a means to determine the cost they pay for every click. Additionally, quality score can influence KPIs like CPA and CPC. Number five, cost per click or CPC. PPC advertisers usually have a set budget that guides them on how to spend on an ad campaign. 
However, the bid and budget they specify for a PPC campaign are not guaranteed amounts that they will end up paying. Advertisers place a higher bid than their competitors to get ad positions, but pay a bid price second to it. As a result, your competitors in a PPC auction determine the cost of the ad you put up and the clicks it generates. If you want to know the exact amount an advertiser pays for a campaign, calculate the CPC. Divide a campaign's total cost by the number of clicks that ad generated. To manually calculate your campaign's cost, multiply a campaign's clicks with the CPC. And that's all we have for this episode. Join us for 6 through 10 in the next episode of the SEO.co podcast. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.